This is GMS Mailbag, here to feed the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. All glory and honor and praises unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Uh, this lesson is uh, pretty much um, the inspiration for this lesson comes from a video that um, the brother from uh, the Texas camp, Arya Allah, did. And I just watched it about an hour ago. The name of the video is called New Moon Month. It's not that ridiculous Nate. It's based upon a comment Nate Satan made that uh, basically belief in the New Moon Sabbath is uh, ridiculous. So he went and did some research and he came up with this uh, beautifully edifying video. And it is very edifying. I I um, recommend you brothers go and check this video out. Um, I'll put the link in the description box. So you can just click on it and uh, go watch that video. Now the name of um, his channel is uh, GMS Dallas in Class 3. Okay, so uh, you brothers should go check this video out. So when I, wa when I was watching this video, it uh, inspired me to uh, do the video that I'm about to get into right now. And it was based upon some information I found, which is... Uh, right here entitled what is a biblical new moon and of course you know we got scoffers out there scoffing the concept of the new moon you know and uh, Nate Satan in particular and uh, even that uh, hard rock bonehead even he even he's done a couple of new videos uh, you know trying to uh, debunk the concept of the new moon but the new moon is a very um, it's a very real concept and one time we did worship you know, we did observe the new moon. We didn't worship it. Let me uh, correct myself. We we observed it because it was an ob observ observance or observance that um, the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai commanded us to to uh, uh, regulate the days, and um, which turned into the months, which turned into the years. And this is found in the Book of uh, Genesis. The first chapter the 14th verse it says and the powers said let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night now the lights that divide the day from the night the day is regulated by the sun and the night is regulated by the moon so those are the lights that it's talking about and let them be for signs what is the dem the sun and the moon okay let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years so you to observe them you you to observe the sun and the moon why not to worship them but you to observe them for signs for seasons and for days and years now keep in mind that days turn into the months which turn into the years all right so a day would be regulated by what by the sun and the moon okay as a matter of fact, the moon is very important in this because the moon, uh, the, uh, the different stages of the moon, the stage that is called the new moon, regulates the first day of the month. And also keep in mind that the word month derives from the word moon. We find that in the Apocrypha. It clearly states that the, that the word month came from moon. Okay, the word moon. And there's plenty of re uh, references to, uh, to prove that point undoubtedly okay so based upon Genesis 1 and 14 that sets it up for the information that I found now and in, in, you know I'll put the link in the description box so you brothers can go check it out this is entitled what is a biblical new moon uh, Yahweh now we know his name is Yahweh so we'll just put the name that's supposed to be there which is Yahweh Yahweh in his wisdom has given us a calendar in the sky for all to see he uses the sun and moon to establish days, months, years, and and also his appointed observances. All right, so you know, just it just tells you right there that the sun and the moon is used to establish days, and then it says Genesis one and fourteen, which we just read. We read that scripture, so that's the proof. All right, a critical component to his calendar is the new moon. A critical component and that's one of the components that these uh these scoffing morons like hard rock bonehead and 
Nate the Snake uh, Satan is uh, disallowing, you know. A critical component to his calendar uh, in the new is the new moon. Critical. It's also a critical component to worshiping the, the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshai the correct way, the perfect way, as it is written, "Be perfect, even as your Father in heaven is perfect." So it is a critical component to his calendar is the new moon, which starts each biblical month. Uh, Yahweh commanded special offerings on each new moon, and from and each new moon and one special new moon even is even a feast day called the Feast of Trumpets. And they give you the uh, scripture Isaiah 66 and uh, 23. When you go to Isaiah 66 and 23, which I have here, it says, And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. So this is what's going to be established in, the, in, the, in our kingdom. From one new moon to the, to the other, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come and worship before me, saith the Lord. Now why did it say from one Sabbath to another? Because the Sabbath is the new moon. The new moon is the Sabbath. Whenever the new moon comes, or whatever, the first day of the month, that is a Sabbath. That is a rest day. And the word Sabbath simply means to rest. Now if we take a look at the, this uh, in the Blue Letter Bible now. It says, uh, from, uh, it shall come to pass that from one new moon, if we take a look at that uh, uh, term new moon in the Hebrew, all right, uh, the Hebrew word there, as you can see, is waiting for this to load up so we can get the definition. The Hebrew word is kadash, or kadash, right? And here's the definition here. The new moon, month, monthly, because the word month derives from moon. Then you see here, it says the first day of the month. So the first day of the month is a new moon. All right? The first day of the month is a new moon. So what that scripture should say, if we go back and read it, what it should say, and it shall come to pass from one new month to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come and worship before me, saith the Lord. And if we go back to the law, the book in uh, uh, the, uh, Exodus, the 13th chapter, the second verse, it clearly tells you that everything that's first belongs to the Heavenly Father. Like the first spirit created belongs to the Heavenly Father. The first of anything belongs to the Heavenly Father. You know, we that have sons, our first son belongs to the Heavenly Father. All right, that's clearly written in the law in the book of Exodus 13 and 2. So that goes true for the days as well the day the first day of the month belongs to the heavenly father the first day of the month is a new moon the first day of the month is a sabbath and it belongs to the heavenly father that goes back to the law okay now you would think that nate would know that him being the the top exponent of the law but as you find it out nate really he doesn't know as much as you think he knows and and whatever he doesn't know he wings it all right He's, he's the ultimate wing master. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's go back to the information here. Again, Yahweh uses the new moon to establish a uh, modem, which undoubtedly is probably Yiddish, or commanded observances. Psalm 104 19. All right. You brothers can read that. Also, you brothers can read these scriptures that I'm about to read and hit the comment board and, and uh, make your comments there. Uh, special offerings were also given on the new moons. Second Chronicles 2 and 4, 8 and 13, 23 and 31. So you see the scriptures mention the new moons. So I don't know why these guys are making such a big deal about the new moon concept. You know, what it is is ignorance. Ignorance on Hard Rock Bonehead's part and ignorance on uh, Nate Satan's part. All right? We find many references to the new moon or beginning of the months in the scriptures all right let me read that again we find many references to the new moon or beginning of months in the scriptures including the obligation for true worshipers to observe them now remember in the book of john i think it is that yahweh Shai spoke about the most high yahweh is looking for the true worshipers to worship him in spirit and in truth that's in john 4 and 24 
So again, we read how the new moon is a critical component. Critical component for what? For worshiping the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yashai, perfectly. As it is written, be perfect even as I am perfect. All right? That is said, no. Uh, Yahweh Shai said that, speaking about his father. So you have to worship Yahweh Shem Yashai perfectly. And uh, the new moon is a critical component. We just read it. Um, let's read that again. We find many references to the new moon or beginning of months in the scriptures, including the ob obligation for true worshipers to observe them. Numbers 10 and 10, 28, 11 to 15, First Chronicles, Second Chronicles, Ezra, Ezekiel, Colossians. As a matter of fact, Colossians 2 and 16 I have here. Uh, let me see. Colossians 2 and 16. Okay, let's look that up. Alright, Colossians 2 and 16. Wait for it to load. We'll just scroll down to the 16th verse. It says, Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holy day or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days. Now, if we take a look at the term new moon, now this is in the New Testament. We'll play the Greek. Strong's G3561. Neomania. Neomania. Here's lexicon. Numania. Uh huh. Numania. All right. The definition there is new moon of the Jewish festival of the new moon. And if we scroll down some more in the Thayer's Greek lexicon, you see the word there month. A month. New moon. A month. So the month is regulated by the new moon. Now, of course, the scripture said we're not to judge anyone in respect of a, a new moon. Either they keep it or they don't. So we're not really, if they don't, them, if them niggas don't want to keep the new moon, that's on them. But for, as we read, it's a uh, critical component if you want to worship the Lord perfectly. And the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, does, uh, uh, recommend perfection in the book of hebrews it tells us it tells us let us go on to perfection so if you desire perfection then um you want to observe the new moon and above all is biblical as a matter of fact let's keep reading um apostolic uh apostolic believers who remain true to his word continue to honor new moon days as well as observe feast days in the New Testament. Further, we learnt from Ezekiel's prophecy that the new moon, that's Ezekiel 46 and 3, that the new moon, the new moon days will be kept in the coming kingdom. The people of the land shall also worship at the doorway of that gate before Yahweh and on the Sabbaths and on the new moons. So again, in the kingdom, we'll be worshiping the new moon. We'll be keeping the new moon. Now we're gonna we're gonna get to um, as a matter of fact, you brothers can read. I, I just want to get to the point. I don't want to make this video too long. Now we're gonna read why we don't keep the new moons in this day and age. This is under what constitutes a new moon. Now listen to this. It says the switch over from watching for the first visible crescent to calculating conjunctions to determine the month's beginning came with Hillel the second calendar re revisions in the 4th century CE which is a uh, CE means I believe means Christ era All right so 4th four, century AD by the middle of the 4th century the sage the sages had established a permanent calendar and the public proclamation of the new moon was discontinued so according to this reference, around fourth, the 4th fourth century A.D., which would put it around 5, uh, I'm sorry, five, the year 5 uh, A.D., around there, 
that's when the new moon practice was discontinued to this very day all right and that's why we don't um uh keep the new moon practice that's why we don't keep the practice of the first day of the month being the new moon being regulated by the new moon even though we read in genesis that the moon and the sun those heavenly bodies were created to regulate days months and years so you see where the confusion comes in all right so pretty much we're going to stop there <clears throat> um like i said i'll put the link in the description box so you brothers can read this uh, article and uh, whatever you find that's worthy you can uh, put it on the comment board but pretty much the point is made um as a matter of fact uh, a good example that should be uh highlighted is uh, Deuteronomy 16 and 1 which clearly the book of Deuteronomy which means second book of the law clearly the most high Yahweh Shemiyashai said that we're to observe the month or which is the um, observe the months which is the first day of the month which is the new moon okay so this is GMS Mailbag here to feed the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yashai, and um, I'll see you brothers in the next lesson. Shalom.